China is doing in in Taiwan, what uh, around Taiwan, what China is doing in the South and East China Sea, and what China doing in the Indian Ocean region also remains a cause for serious concern. So the Chinese have sent a spy ship, while they may call it a research ship, but uh, it is it is practically one of the world's most modern spy ships. It can it can track movement of satellites. It can track uh, movement uh, of missiles. It can also map the ocean bed and Indian Ocean bed extremely critical in the years ahead. So this spy ship was in the Indian Ocean region. It's now at the Humbantota port. India didn't want it. India was concerned. So was the United States of America. A signal was sent out to Sri Lanka saying this isn't on. It's not on to welcome a Chinese spy ship in Humbantota. Sri Lanka initially delayed it, but then buckled under Chinese pressure. Shivaru gets us more. Bullying Taiwan with its missiles and fighter jets. Needling India along the line of actual control in the Himalayas. And now China has turned to a mega sea espionage bid. Its aim to spy on India's maritime activities. China has sent a surveillance ship Yuan Wang 5 to dock in Sri Lanka's Hambantota port, overlooking concerns raised by India. I would like to reiterate that the marine scientific research conducted by research ship Yuan Wang 5 conforms to international law and international common practice and will not affect the security and economic interests of any country. The Yuan Wang 5 is one of China's latest generation space tracking ships used to monitor satellites, rockets and intercontinental ballistic missile launches, operating in the garb of maritime research and surveillance. India is worried that the spy ship can snoop on its military installations and bases, making the Navy and nuclear bases in South India like Kalpakkam and Kudankulam vulnerable. Several ports in South India could also be under the snooping radar. The Chinese ship may also snoop on rocket and missile launch centers in Chandipur in the integrated test range off the east coast of Odisha. Barely 24 hours after India gifted Sri Lanka a maritime reconnaissance and surveillance aircraft Dornier, Colombo permitted a Chinese spy ship to dock at Hambantota. Now this Chinese vessel is capable of mapping not just the ocean floor but also tracking movement of long-range missiles and satellites. In times of conflict, a cause for grave concern. Sri Lanka, caught in a Chinese debt trap, has handed over a majority share of the Humbantota port with a 99-year lease to a Chinese merchant company in 2017. We are not placating China. I don't think that is, uh, that is the case. Uh, we have simply uh, asked India and the United States, who in fact, as uh, was said before, raise some concerns, but then we ask, uh, give us concrete reasons uh, for the ship um, not to be in Hambantara. And there were no concrete reasons given. And under our uh, conventions that we have signed up, uh, the Maritime Convention, uh, various other laws of the sea that we have signed up, we cannot refuse a ship which uh, is asking for uh, replenishments and docking in Sri Lanka. So. India has asserted that it will take all measures to shield its installations from the snooping eyes of the Chinese vessel. Sri Lanka once again permitted them to dock, dock this ship at, at Hemen Tota, but assured the government of India and the Americans that while the ship is docked there, they will not permit them to undertake any research activity whatsoever. They, they are there only for refuel. Only time will tell what was the actual purpose for which they stayed there. India continues to court Sri Lanka by handing over maritime assets. Recently giving a Dornier 228 maritime patrol and reconnaissance aircraft to Lanka to reaffirm bilateral security ties. With Gaurav Savant in Taipei, Taiwan, Bureau Report, India Today.